Hey everyone! In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the Elgato Game Capture HD. This is a device that allows you to record your console's gameplay in high definition on your Mac or PC. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set it up with the Xbox 360, PS3, and how to install the software on a Mac and PC. The first thing that we're going to do is install the software that is necessary for us to record our gameplay. To do this, open up your web browser and go to GameCapture.com. You'll get to a page that looks like this, and in the lower left hand corner you'll see a button that says download. Click on the download button, and then click on the operating system that you wish to install the software on. Once you click on it, the software will start downloading, and it's about a 23 megabyte file so it could take a little while depending on the speed of your internet connection. Once the software has finished downloading, Click on it, hit run, next, accept the license agreement, hit next, next again, and install. So while the program is installing on my PC, I just thought I'd show you what the installation process is like on a Mac. So as you can see here, I just got done downloading the file. So if we click on it, it'll say that it's verifying, checking, and finishing and we'll have this new window appear. What we're going to do is drag the Game Capture HD file into the Applications folder. It's about a 46 megabyte file so it might take a few seconds. When it's done, exit out of that new window and your web browser, go to your Applications folder, and you should see the Game Capture HD application. Go ahead and click on it, say Open, hit agree and the application should appear. So that's how you get to install the Game Capture HD software on the Mac. Let's go ahead and hop back over to the PC. So the software just finished installing and if you hit finish you should see the Game Capture HD shortcut appear in your desktop and if it's not there you can always find it by going to start all programs Elgato and Game Capture HD. To open it up just click on it and as you can see, it looks very similar to the Mac version. Uh, nothing really is different about it. But that's how you get to install the software on a Mac and PC. Up next, I'm going to show you how you can connect your Xbox and PS3 to the Game Capture HD. Connecting the Xbox 360 to the Game Capture HD is really simple. All you have to do is take the included HDMI cable, plug one end into your Xbox's HDMI port, and the other end into the HDMI in port on the Game Capture HD. Now take another HDMI cable, plug one end into the HDMI out port, and plug the other end into your TV. Now we're going to connect the Game Capture HD to our computer. So take the included USB cable, and plug the mini end of the cable into the USB port on the Game Capture HD and plug the other end into your Mac or PC. At this point, your Xbox should be fully set up. So if you start the Game Capture HD software on your Mac or PC and start your Xbox, in a few seconds you should see your Xbox appear on both your TV and your computer screen. The only thing that I've noticed is that there is a little bit of a delay between what appears on your TV and what appears on your computer screen. There's about a 1.5 to 4 second delay, but that's just because the Game Capture HD is actively encoding for you. But everything that appears on your TV is in real time. So that's pretty much it for the Xbox 360 setup. Up next is the PS3 setup. Connecting the PS3 to the Game Capture HD takes a few more steps than it does with the Xbox 360. To get started, take the included AV cable, plug the rectangular end into the AV multi-out port on the PS3, and plug the other end into the AV in port on the Game Capture HD. Now take the included HDMI cable, plug one end into the HDMI out port on the Game Capture HD, and plug the other end into your TV. 
Now we're going to connect the Game Capture HD to our computer. To do this, take the included USB cable, plug the mini end of the cable into the USB port on the Game Capture HD, and plug the other end into your Mac or PC. At this point, we have everything connected the way we need to, so now we're going to move on to setting up the PS3. To do this, press and hold on your PS3's power button until you hear a second beep. Once you hear the second beep, release the power button, and in a few seconds you should see the PS3 appear on both your TV and on your computer screen. The reason why we had to hold down the power button is so we can reset the PS3's display settings. In the next step, I'll show you how to change your display settings so it's optimal for both playing on your TV and recording on your computer. To change the display settings on the PS3, scroll left until you see Settings, and then scroll down until you see Display Settings. Select Display Settings, and then select Video Output Settings. On this page, scroll up to Component slash D Terminal and select it, and hit Change. Your screen will go black for a few seconds, but it will reappear saying that your connector is going to be Component slash D Terminal and it's going to ask if you want to accept that setting. Just hit yes. On the next page, you're going to select all resolutions that are supported by your TV. Here I'm going to select 720p and 1080i. Make sure you do not select 1080p because it won't work. Once you do that, scroll right, and it says to press the X button to save the changes. So press the X button. It'll say that the save has completed, so just scroll down to finish, hit X, and you're all done. After you change the display settings, you might notice that what appears on your TV isn't synchronized with what appears on your computer screen. There's about a 1.5 to 4 second delay, and the reason behind that is that the Game Capture HD is actively encoding the video for you. So that being said, that's how you get to configure the PS3 with the Game Capture HD. Locust had broken through to his house and called in to say goodbye. Says he's sorry. He says... If you've connected your game console to the Game Capture HD like I showed in the video, but you're not getting a signal on your computer or your TV, the main reason why it isn't working is because the input is probably set incorrectly. To change this, you can either click on this settings button here, or if you don't have a settings button there, if you click on capture, underneath device, you should see this little settings button here. If you click on either one of these buttons, you'll have this window appear. To change the input device, just click on this little area next to input device and select the console you're trying to connect. So in my case, I'm connecting my Xbox 360 and for the input here, I'm going to select HDMI. Once you change it, hit OK. And in a second or two, I should have my Xbox appear on both my computer and on my TV screen. So as you can see here, it's working correctly. Now, if you're trying to connect the PS3, it's a little bit different. All you have to do is just select PlayStation 3, where it says Input Device, and hit OK, and it should work. Obviously, it's not going to work right now because I have my Xbox hooked up and not my PS3. So that's just a quick how-to on how to fix that problem, because I had that when I first tried to set this up, and I thought that might help a few of you. So uh, once again, thanks guys for watching, and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.